Uh, Roger Roger there guys and welcome back to another Fortnite video in this video I thought I'd do I see a lot of people out there that just cannot build or they don't know how to do some more of the Complicated stuff if you want to call it that. It's not hard though So I thought I'd do a little basic building guide for you so what I've done here I'll start off with the walls and I've built one of each type of wall what you can do with it same for the floors same for the ceilings as you can see there and I'll run you through very quickly how you build them so obviously we've got our basic wall self-explanatory then you've got your single column to build your single column you hold circle or B if you're on Xbox I'm not too sure I think it's G on PC and you just take away these two columns so if we reset the wall and we take away and there you've got your single column then you've got your two stack little mini wall and that is just two on the column I know it looks like it's that but that's something different so you've got your column there a little too high column then you've got your two row at the bottom which is kind of pointless but you would use that for something I'll show you in a minute then you've got your single stack wall pretty sure a lot of people know what to do there and then your two high with your two high pretty much the same as your single stack but you just take off the top row not the middle row and it's just a little bit of cover there you wouldn't really use that in battle royale though then we've got a big archway which is just a big upside down L if you like and you could use that for like if I edit this one real quick you could have a big archway opening like that. Okay, if I just change that back. And then you've got your small archway, which is just the one piece archway. And to do that, you take out like what looks like an old Tetris piece from the bottom and leave almost an end at the top. And that'll make you an archway. Next on the list, we've got a doorway and to do the doorway you just got your basic wall and you take the middle one out of the bottom and the middle one out of the middle and then you've got yourself a door next you've got your window which is just take out that middle piece there from the default possible. so you've got your default wall simply just take out the middle piece you can do two small windows if you will and to do that you just take out the two end pieces in the middle or if you wanted you could like, reset that do a doorway and a window and then you've got a doorway and a window there last thing you can do with the walls is you've got your slope wall Say hi to everyone who's just jumped in the shield. So the last thing you can do with the wall there, guys, is that, the slope. And obviously, if you wanted to, you could do that the other way, like so. So that's it for the walls there, guys. We run over here, and we'll start at the beginning of our floor pieces. self-explanatory basic floor piece everyone knows how to place that next you've got little walkway obviously you can have these raised up like I have there in my storm shield and to do that you just take away these two pieces or it could be them two pieces it doesn't really matter you can just rotate it next we've got the L and obviously you just take that one out or you take that one out or that one doesn't matter same as last time you can just rotate it 
next on the list. We've got just our single corner and as you'd imagine, it is the opposite of that one over there. You take away these three or them three, it doesn't really matter. And there you go, you have this, your little corner piece and that'd be for like your raised archways. If you can look up there on the corner. Next, I like these, these are quite jazzy. All you've got to do is to do them is we've got our floor piece there. You can take away that piece and that piece to have it look like that. Or if you come over to this one, it's just see it's the opposite. So you could sort of join them up. You just take away that piece and that piece. So like if you wanted to join them up, you could get yourself a floor piece. I've already got one pre-made luckily, and then you could do it like that. And you could make yourself a funky little diamond. So guys, so that's it for the floor pieces. There's not much to say there with the floor pieces to be honest. Next, we'll move on to the last piece, which is the roof tile. Not the last piece, actually. We've got the stairs. This is the roof tile, basic roof tile. Don't need to do anything to get that. You can turn the roof tile into a slope. If you're building, a, I don't know, like a pyramid or whatever. And to do that, you just raise these two. So you'll see you don't actually take away any pieces with the roof tile. You just raise them and lie with them. So you raise two, doesn't matter which two, and you'll end up with a ramp. Next roof tile, you've got this piece, and to do that, it's the same as the floor pieces we just explained over there, uh -huh. apart from you raise them. So to raise it, it's just the same button as it is to take it away. So you've got your roof tile there, haven't we? And then you just raise them to simply like that. And of course guys, same as last time, you could raise them to if you wanted and have it that way. Next guys, we've got... This again would probably go well if you were doing a pyramid. So to do this, you just raise one piece. So it could be yep. that corner piece. That corner piece. Or it could be that corner piece, it doesn't really matter guys. Or you could just rotate it to save you the hassle of holding circle or B or e, G and editing it again. Our last roof tile we've got there guys is this snazzy looking one. Which is like anti this one if you will. It's like that, that one but folded back on itself and flipped upside down. To do this you raise all three of these so we've got our basic there we raise this one, this one and this one and there you go or of course guys again you can set this one, this one and this one and you'll have it that way so that's it there guys for the roof tiles I haven't pre-placed the stairs but there's not much to them so we can just get on with that now I just find there's a nice bit of open space here guys bear with me so we've got our basic basic ramp if you will it's meant to be stairs but ramp so you can edit your basic ramp to see these two middle ones here that have not got arrows on if you grab hold of one of them Uh, no, sorry guys, I'm getting a bit confused here. The ones with the arrows on, if you grab hold of them, you can change the direction of the ramp, like that. Or, if you wanted a single set, you'll just do that row and leave it like that. If you wanted, like, stairs there. Uh, some of you might have in your house you could do it like that or if you wanted to build like a spiral tower of sort you could 
I have your stairs, like so. And that's pretty much it, guys, for the stairs. As I said, there's not much to say with the stairs. You can just arrange them in different ways. But, like, these are pretty cool. So, if you want to make a tower, because, like I showed you earlier in the last one, you can just build yourself not one on the floor. You could just build yourself one here like this, and then you could go up again and obviously fill the sides up with your walls. To fill that bit side of the wall, guys, you would do... No, you wouldn't do that. You would usually just, guys, to be fair, do that. And obviously, like so, you just build up like that and at the top, build yourself a nice little tower. But I'm not showing you how to build towers, guys. I'm just showing you how to manipulate the building tiles to get them to do different things to make your buildings look a bit more unique or a bit cooler. Or maybe for you guys who just play Battle Royale, don't play Save the World, just a guide to show you how to do certain things without having to figure it out yourself and spending all that time. And then some dude just snipes you from miles away on top of a hill. You know how it is. So yeah, guys. Also, guys, if you play on PvE and you're not that far yet, or if you know, or if you just haven't bought the skill and you don't know it, you can upgrade your building tiles. So you click the right stick in, and you can upgrade the wood. Like I haven't actually got enough wood here, guys, at the moment. But as you can see, I've just upgraded the wood to level two. You can also go again if I can get you some wood real quick right now let's just bash up this tree and see if we get enough guys I'll show you what level 3 wood looks like I'll also show you what level 3 brick, level 2 and 3 brick and what level 2 and 3 metal look like also thank you there gaming idiot for the uh, wood he obviously knew what I was doing so yeah guys, that's level 2 wood right there, then we've got level 3 wood, looks a bit more polished off, but then I'll just show you it guys, of, uh, I'll show you it with a little wall, because I think the little walls of the brick look cool guys, uh, not that, not wood, we placed the wrong one there guys, place that one with brick, place that one with metal, the metal takes quite a long to, a while to build, guys, unless you're playing as a builder, which that only applies to you guys who play Save the World as well. Your building time is in, decreased a lot faster with a builder. It's one of their skills, obviously, it's part of the job. Builders, for anyone who doesn't know, who just plays Battle Royale, it's the PvE sort of like an MMO, and builders act as your healers, if you will. They look after the base, heal the base, make sure it stays standing while your soldiers and your ninjas do your DPS, and then you've got outlanders which collect the resource. There's level one brick wall, level two brick wall, level two metal. You can only go up to level three, by the way, guys, as of yet, they haven't actually added the skill to level up to the level four build yet, so that's not in the game at the moment and this is where it gets cool level 3 brick people check it out I love this it's not as strong of course as level 3 metal but it is stronger than level 2 metal and brick is a lot more common than metal especially if you're doing a lot of missions out in rural areas like the forest or if there's just not much metal at all in the map if you're doing a city zone you won't be too bad. And last but not least, we've got level 3 metal. Just give that a few moments, guys, to build, and you can see what it looks like finished. I'll show you it as a full wall. You might be able to get a better, a better look at it. I just wanted to show you the one stack on the brick, because you can't say that does not look the coolest. Like, if you do your doorways, for example, guys, like... 
we do a brick doorway just like look at how cool this looks wait for that I told you metal takes a while to build gas if you're not a builder just upgrade that I think the level 2 brick actually looks less sturdy than level 1 brick but that's just my opinion there's the level 3 metal anyway guys looks really nice nice polished stuff doesn't look like a piece of crap like it does at level 1 and see what I mean guys if you want to go for the castle look because the game is called Fortnite if you want to look more like a fort then you can do that level 3 your brick and just go nuts guys I hope this video helped anyone who was struggling building or anyone who's new to the game if you did like and share the video subscribe for more content and I hope to see you again guys uh, any feedback to improve the channel would be much appreciated and I also do a lot of let's play video guys for anyone who doesn't know so any game suggestions or anything just let me know my twitter is ace spades game and just like my youtube channel thanks for the watch guys Stay Roger and